Talk a little bit about the production. What's, uh, what's the, the design, or what do you think about for the period for this? What, um, for the... Well, we wanted uh, uh, an absolute um, nod to the 18th century, but we wanted it to be fresh and feel like clothing and be fashionable. And so it has a little nod to Vivian Westwood and that kind of high fashion mm -hmm. chic. And uh, Christine Cook is unbelievably imaginative and fun in that way. But you you sense the period in the silhouette. Um, uh, the collaboration with Donald Eastman is one that has gone on for many many years, and he is um, a wild genius and has created this place where the whole story can be told without uh, stopping for movement of scenery. It just becomes a fluid place. Um, so in the center of the stage, there's kind of a, a platform that that feels like a dinner table where the whole story is served up to you and the chorus sits around and then the drama takes place on this platform behind which are a series of five doors with classical moldings mm -hmm. and, um, and it's um, downstage and, and highly focused and I think it's, it's, uh, it, it complements the space at the conservatory. You said, you said about uh, the chorus coming in and out. Mm -hmm. This is actually quite a big chorus show for yeah. Marilla to do. Yes. We don't usually do this, uh, a show with, with this much um, chorus, uh, chorus music, frankly, yeah. this thing. Um, you know, how is it, have you, uh, it's been, you know, it's been a challenge actually to get yeah. the Marilla chorus in here because we have other productions going right. on and all that kind of thing. So, I mean, have you, do you enjoy having the, oh. that many people in the room? Oh, I love it. Yeah. I mean, it's daunting. But, um, and because we've only ever had, so far, half the chorus, <laughs> it's been important not to tell them to go move from point A to P, uh, point B or to have a blocking, but to get them involved in the storytelling. So yeah. they're invested in it. And um, every day they come back and they want to know a little bit more. Yeah, <laughs> right. That's good. And, and, and never get bored. Yeah. But I think that's also the, yeah. the good part of the training is yeah. that they're actually being asked to be characters. Right. As, and, and to have a have a, a dramatic arc yeah. uh, as the piece goes on for yeah. things to happen so that they're actually you know, thinking about, yes, they're singing in the chorus part, but they're also you know, developing themselves as, right. as finding, you know, how do I get this, how do I make this it seem like one person from the beginning right. to the end of this. And, and they see the moment one of them sticks their neck out and wants to do something, I could just give them a yeah, lot right. more, it's ten times more. Right. They are the progress yeah. of the rake, they are, they are the context. and. You know that it's a blank surface, but they're the ones who set the context and tell us where we are, and uh, uh, whether we are in the you know the rise or the decline mm -hmm. of Tom Rayford.